John, we'll get to your goal in a second, but a disappointing afternoon for the team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we all know uh, we uh, underperformed uh, as a team. We, uh, I don't know what it was, but you know, we we w we wanted to keep keep the, the same rhythm going, uh, but unfortunately, we, we we couldn't keep it keep it up. Felt like there was a lot of frustration out there that passes weren't quite going, and things that had gone in the last couple of weeks didn't seem to quite come off for you. No, I thought you know um, every 50-50 uh, challenge didn't go our way. Um, we were just always that millisecond away, uh, and and uh, we just I think Bristol City just deserved this today. Uh, but I think we just learn from this game and you know come back stronger for the next next home game. Is there an element after the good run you've been on, maybe just a little reality check that not quite as good as we maybe thought we were? Definitely, uh, I think you know we're not far from comfortable uh, right now. We it's a dangerous thing being comfortable. Uh, we've been win we won our last five games in a row, so I think it was a huge wake up call for the team. You know we we have to perform every single game uh, and have that winning attitude in every single game of the season. And so we we just learned from this game today. How important is that as a characteristic in that dressing room? I mean, it seems quite a quiet place in there, but you'll all be aware of how that was below the standards you guys have set yourselves. Definitely. We, we know, know our, our strengths uh, and we know that we're a much, much better team than we showed today. Uh, so, as I said, uh, we just you know take that lesson uh, today and, and come back stronger for a, for a tough, tough game uh, against Brighton next, next, uh, uh, next weekend. For you personally, though, a huge relief today. Yeah, it's been... Uh, it's been uh, tough in front of goal for me in the last couple of months, uh, but you know it, the thing is with strikers when they don't score, uh, it's it's dangerous because uh, it can affect their confidence. Uh, so that's just been my main goal, not to let it affect my confidence and keep keep uh, you know uh, keep on doing the, the all of the other aspects right of, of my game. So of course it's a huge boost for me, uh, and you know just adver adversity makes it makes you stronger and, and better. A little deflection into your path, is that maybe the touch of luck you've not had since back in August? Yeah, maybe and maybe not, you know, I tried not to uh, use any excuses, you know, uh, I'm my own cup competitor and, and, you know, this, as I said, this goal was just, you know, with a bit of luck as well, but, you know, sometimes you need that and you have to finish those chances and be in, be on the, in the right place at the right time and uh, I did that and, and this is something to build up from and, and I'm positive uh, more will come. A nice touch at the end. I saw you giving your shirt away to one of the disabled fans. Yeah, I think it's important to give something back to the fans. Uh, they always, they always help me through uh, bad and good times, and the team as well. So, you know, the least they can do is give something back to them for the support. And and so it was, it was a nice thing to uh, see the joy in the kids' face. And now you've got one goal, more to come before the end of the season. That's my goal. Yeah, uh, it's. I want to finish the season uh, with style and and the team as well. We want to uh, finish uh, maybe a disappointing season uh, with style, and we have now six, six games left, and it's up to us and me to perform and and then build up from that in the, for the next next season as well.